Hello viewers, welcome to Majestic Christian Television Network. My name is Apostle Helen Rudolph, and your hostess. Uh, we have 101 today uh, with the uh, leader of uh, uh, a party or a movement uh, in the Western Togoland. So we are uh, I invite you to join with us as we are going to have one or one with this uh, leader as we want to discuss the state of affairs uh, in, Togo, in Western Togoland. So um, as introduction, please permit me to let you know a bit about what is happening. The case of Western Togoland in the United Nations archives is a simmering one that requires proper attention. Why? Because since the Union Agreement we joined the Western Togoland to the Republic of Ghana, it appears that much of the detail of the agreement between the Ghanaian Republic and the people of that portion of land or that, 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 that portion of country were not kept and this has consequently led to much agitation even till date. So we have the privilege of having the chairman of the People's Liberation Council of Western Togoland, uh, Mr. Ben Adele, in a one-on-one -on -one session today to answer all some of the questions which will bring to light the state of affairs as it pertains to Western Togoland. So we ask you to join us this moment uh, online on Facebook, Radio Voice of Niger, or you can also WhatsApp us, send your questions through our WhatsApp network, which is uh, 31 684 or you can also call the studio line on uh, 3120 Help us receive the chairman of the People's Liberation Council, uh, Mr. Or Ifu Ben. If we welcome, please. Thank you very much, Madam. Wow, you very look very humbled, and uh, I can't even really believe that you are the chairman of the People's Liberation Council of Western Tugalan. Um, sometimes it's a gift that God uh, asks you to do something, mm -hmm. and you just have to accept it and move forward. Wow. You cannot hide it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After a certain time in life, mm -hmm. you have to accept it and move forward. Wow. For your people. Yeah. Is that why you are very humble? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. That's uh, really a mark of a leader. Thank you. We are so proud of you. Uh, so, um, yeah. Somebody's calling me, but I cannot pick it up now. You say, so where are we now regarding the state of affairs on the Western Togoland and the Republic of Ghana saga? Uh, can you give our viewers a, a quick, a quick uh, overview? Uh, I will be very brief. I don't want to go too much into history because the history part, a lot of people know it already. Mm. Um, but some people might not know what we are talking about. Yes. So I'll say it very short, mm -hmm. in one or two minutes. Yeah, and tell us. Just feel free. Point. Yes. Uh, after the First World War, during the First World War, which has been fought in Europe, the Allied forces took the war to Africa. Mm -hmm. And Togo was um, a colony of, uh, of uh, Germany. So they went there. In actual fact, the Germans were not with helping the Togolese to develop. Mm -hmm. So in those days, you see they have built railways, um, television stations, uh, communication networks, mm -hmm. and they were helping them to uh, produce cotton. Yeah, OK. They are one of the greatest, uh, largest producers of cotton mm. in uh, Africa by then. OK. And the people are very hardworking. So the French mm -hmm. and the British decided mm -hmm. to go there and crush the Germans there in Africa, which yep. is wrong. Wow. Because you cannot be fighting war in Europe mm -hmm. and then you go to Africa to crush people who are not part of uh, uh, a war. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They did that. And then 
Uh, after that, they sat in Berlin and they cut the, the land, they just put ruler on it. When you look at it carefully, they put ruler on it and divide the, the Togo into two parts. Really? One part for the French and the other part for, for the British. The British. Uh, they took it as war booty. Wow. And uh, they do anything they want to do with it. Hmm. But the, the United Nations said, no, hmm. you cannot do that. Okay. You can take them as trust territories, mm -hmm. but not your colonies. Exactly. So they give them rules whereby they can use, they can, they can do what they want to do there, but mm -hmm. there are rules to it. Okay. You got to a time, uh, because the British were with Ghana, with Gold Coast, they were going to give independence to Gold Coast. Mm -hmm. So they start to think about what they can do with uh, British Togo land. Mm -hmm. And for that matter, they brought it to the um, UN security, uh, UN uh, to talk about it. Yes. In the video that I'll show to you, okay. you will see the work that the UN did about Western Togoland. Okay. They did a lot of work. Really? They really want to find out what will come out of Western Togoland mm -hmm. when the British leave uh, the territory. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. the British were saying that the place is, uh, they, they cannot administer that place alone. Mm -hmm. So they, they prefer to leave it. Hmm. But they proposed to, uh, to add British Togoland to Gold Coast. Hmm. But then the UN said, no, you cannot do that. You cannot add this state to another state. Hmm. They sent people from all over to come to the land, to talk to the people, hmm. to see the situation. Hmm. And then they decided that they will uh, uh, Ask the people themselves yeah. if they want to join Ghana, uh, to Gold Coast yeah. during the independence, or hmm. they want to stay alone. Wow! And that is what happened. So in the first video, you hear the arguments at hmm. the UN. Really? Uh, so do we have? Can, can we uh, just uh, play uh, that and and hear uh, what it's all about? Oh, really? and later assumed a larger political aspect. However, basically the problem is still an away problem. In our opinion, political union based on tribal and ethnic considerations is not the most desirable or wise course. And perhaps even contrary to the basic objectives of the trusteeship system. Any concession to a demand of this kind for unification may well raise similar problems concerning other tribes which like the Aways are distributed between the Gold Coast, the British and French Togolands. I may mention in this connection the from a study of this matter is that the unification move arose out of the desire of the Away people to be under one administration and later assumed a larger political aspect. However, Basically, the problem is still an away problem. In our opinion, political union based on tribal and ethnic considerations is not the most desirable or wise course, and perhaps even contrary to the basic objectives of the trusteeship system. Any concession to a demand of this kind for unification may well raise similar problems concerning other tribes, which like the Aways, are distributed between the Gold Coast, the British, and French Togolands. I may mention in this yes. um, as we can all hear, yeah, what the UN was discussing yes. in those days. Yeah, you can see clearly that they are saying that. Uh, Adding West British Togoland to the Gold Coast will not be the desired, uh, will not bring any good result. At all. And for that matter, they would like to think about alternatives. And the alternatives that they thought about mm -hmm. is that the people should be, they should ask the people themselves what they want. Okay. And for that matter, they propose yeah. that they should make uh, a vote. Okay to ask them what they want. 
mm -hmm. if they want to join Ghana or they don't want to join Ghana. Has that been done then? And they did that. Okay. And they call it, they term it plebiscite. And these are the uh, ambiguous questions they ask in those days. I read it and uh, you read it there. <laughs> <laughs> they, they ask the people that the union of Togoland and the British administration with uh, an independent Gold Coast. That is the first question. So, if you want to join Gold Coast to become to, to, in a union, then you have to, I can show you the sign. This is the sign. This sign shows that you have agreed okay. to be in union with Gold Coast, uh, Coast, which is Ghana. Which is Ghana now. Yes, okay. But if you don't agree, the second question that they ask is, the separation of Togoland under British administration from the Gold Coast and its continuous under transition, pending the ultimate de determination of the political future, mm -hmm. which means uh, they have to wait if they don't want to join Ga uh, Gold Coast mm -hmm. to form a union, they have to wait until the time that they are matured enough to determine their own future. And the people voted in that um, privacy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the results that they presented was, these are the results. These are the results. The results are a uh, number of votes for union. The number of votes for union is 58%. Um, and those who want separation was 42 uh, percent so it means the union uh, won mm -hmm. so when this thing was presented to the united nation they said okay the people want union mm -hmm. because they won yeah and so they asked them to write a union agreement to be able to put these two stays together. Mm -hmm. But they asked them to do that uh, in conjunction with the state of Western Togoland. Kwame Nkrumah at that time and the British mm -hmm. tried to do, play their own uh, master game. Mm -hmm. They were able to inform the United Nations that the Union has been formed. And this is the letter that say a noble, uh, say Alan Noble wrote to the UN. Okay. I read. Document T1301. Letter dated 6 March 1957. From the Minister of State Foreign Affairs in the United Kingdom. Government to the Secretary General. New York, 6 March 1957. Mm -hmm. In accordance with operative Paragraph 3 of General Assembly's Resolution 1044X1 mm -hmm. of 13 December 1956, I have the honor to inform Your Excellency on behalf of Her Majesty Government in the United Kingdom that we referred from midnight 5th stroke 6th March 1957 under the terms of Ghana Independence Act 5 and 6 uh, six, the territories previously comprised in the Gold Coast become independent state of Ghana. Hmm. That is what he wrote. And then he continued to say, under the same act, the union of the former trust, three, uh, trust territory of the British administration with independent state of Ghana took place with it fled from the same time and date. Hmm. Which means, Ghana has been given independence on that day, mm. and then they assume that the union also starts on that day. Okay. But there is a, a missing link. Okay. When you look at it carefully, there is something missing there. Okay. At that time, Western Togoland has no government. Okay. In natural fact, how can a state get into union without uh, a, a solid a government? Uh, government? Yes. So who signed on behalf? of the people of Western Togo. Oh, really? The question is, there was no government put in place by the British. 
for the people of Western Togoland. So who signed? Was it so maybe who the, signed for them? Maybe the chiefs of uh, the Togoland then, Western okay. Togoland. So what we are asking is, the if chiefs. if there is a union agreement, let us have a look at it and review it. Hmm. Our second option is, mm -hmm. when there is none, mm -hmm. let us sit down and make it a new one, a right one. Exactly. It These are the two things we are saying. That shouldn't be difficult. And when you say this, they say you, you are a secessionist. When you say this, they say you want to cut Ghana away. Hmm. We are all brothers and sisters in Ghana. Hmm. And nobody is interested in taking any part of Ghana away. Yeah. But give us that dignity, women dignity. That's yes. all we are looking for. Exactly. Exactly. So The, the ambiguous question comes all for hmm. is that the whole thing has become that uh, who is a Kenyan? And who is, Even, uh, who, who is the Ghanaian? Yeah, really. The question is coming every day. Even they themselves, the Ghanaians themselves, have been asked, who is a Ghanaian? Are you a Ghanaian? Which you cannot answer. Do they ask that question to Western Togoland as well? Western Togolans are, that's that? are always considered as foreigners. Oh. In Ghana. Everybody knows. <laughs> it's an open secret. Wow. So what we are saying, the People's Liberation Council is saying is, we want to do the job that the British left and done. And that job is they should put Western Togoland and Gan uh, Gokos together to form that Ghana Union. Mm -hmm. That is all we are saying. While Western Togoland still remains in Ghana? Yes, we can remain in Ghana because we are intermarried. But there must we, be a union agreement that's all. which is very visible. Yeah. That's which all. must give respect. That's, that's all. Which must make, should be make terms of reference. Western Western Togoland to to know that they are recognized. Yes, they are part and of Ghana. They are part of Ghana and that's then it. give them what belongs to them. That's all we are. Develop that side as well. That's all we are looking for. Oh, that's good. That that's is the good. position of the People's Liberation Council mm -hmm. of Western Togoland. Wow. There is a lot there are a lot of examples I can give you. Yes. Why we are de we are determined that this thing must be done. Because yes. In the first place, when Kwame Nkrumah and his group built Ghana on uh, without trust, they, mm. there is no trust mm. in their system, mm. and that is what is breeding this corruption, nepotism, and a lot of things. I don't want to mention them. Everybody knows that this is what is happening. Okay, Instead so of them to progress, they are retrogressing. Okay, so since the formation of PLC. Yes? yes, you've been pushing forward for the review of the uh, union between Western Togoland and the Republic that, of Ghana. That is what we have been. All right. Pushing Since you've been pushing, so what's the progress now? Are they uh, ready they, for they, it? They are prepared. They, they are pretending as if they are not hearing anything. Oh, really? Nobody is answering. Oh, so would you like the, this to be broken? No. The union. There is there is no union. Oh. It's a sham situation. Wow, wow, wow. wow because wow. if if. If we they, there is a, there is a union, yes, there should be an agreement. There should be. And when I ask you, you are the head. You are the stronger state. Mm. When I ask you, where is the agreement? Mm. At least give me some respect and put it on the table mm. and tell me that these places don't go there. Mm -hmm. But we can talk about this. At mm. least let us review it. Mm. The European Union is formed with an agreement. When sure. the British decide to get out of it, there's there are times. They don't like it, they want to get out. But wow. in our case, we are not yes. even talking about that. What we are talking about is, look, we have our families there. Mm. We are all intertwined. We, we are married, we, are, we, we go to school together, mm -hmm. everything we did. We have been doing everything together. Mm -hmm. But they can call you tomorrow at the police. Oh. Yes. <laughs> and you can, they can suck you from your work because you bear a name that sounds to police. Oh, so you are saying to us, I mean, people are watching us. Of course, yes. There's discrimination I can being say practiced. This, I can say this. Are you saying that there's discrimination being practiced? Beyond. Eh? Beyond. Being practiced? Yes. Against uh, people from Western Togoland? That is true. Till date? To today. Wow. So, 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 how do you think uh, the, the union can be reviewed then? What can be done? Uh, all we are saying is, what can be done? We think that the best way mm -hmm. for us to live as brothers is to sit down and talk about it. Hmm. We want to start by a public forum 
talk about it generally. People bring ideas. We are not saying that we want to cut some part of Ghana away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because maybe that's the fear. You that, have to that make is yourself their, but that is not that is not it. That is what we are saying. What we are saying is they have to listen to us also. Hmm. If they can listen to us, this thing can be done amicably and we all be happy and we move forward from So it. this is the state of affairs right now as it's playing as I am talking. between the Western Togoland yes. and the Republic of Ghana. That is true. Wow, somebody out there listening to this broadcast, please, in case you think that is contrary, please go give us a call on the studio line uh, 020 337 or you was up us on 31 Six zero six five five zero. Or go to our website on on, on, on Facebook, please, and uh, make your remark, and we will read it. To your YouTube as well. Make your remark, and then we let's read it up. Uh, Efo Ben, are you sure this is the true situation? Because I mean, have you brought this matter to your present government? There are a lot of um, letters on their table. Wow, all of them. Not now. Have you followed all the talk they, to make sure that it gets to them? They're, they're all because the one thing is to all write the, a letter, all, make a complaint, but it doesn't all reach there. All these letters are on their table. It's on the table of, it was on the table of President Kufo yeah. when he was ruling. Mm. It was on the table of uh, uh, pre uh, President um, uh, Atamils when he was in power. Yes. It was on the table of J.J. Rollins when he was in power. Oh. It was it was on the table of uh, uh, John Mahama when he was on the table or, or in power. And presently, it's on the table of President yeah. Akufuado. All of 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 you cannot continue like this. In those days, when Kwame Nkrumah built this on in, uh, in, in, uh, untruthfulness, because this thing has been built by Kwame Nkrumah. After Kwame Nkrumah, when he left power, as the days are passing by, the younger generation are picking up. Hello, Colin. Hello. Hello. Yes, yeah, speak. Yeah, Tell us where you are calling from. I'm calling from New York. All right, thank you. Speak. Uh, I want to make a contribution. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, uh, thank you so much. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, the chairman of PSC for the good work that he's doing. Uh, we are grateful for all that he's doing for Western Togoland. Uh, I want to make something here. When the chairman was uh, speaking, he made it clear that um, uh, the people of Western Togoland will ask to vote in privacy to join Gold Coast in Union or not to join Gold Coast and the D. But that was um, a request from the United Nations. I'm sorry, that was a request from Britain to the United Nations to join the two uh, colonies, the two countries together. That's the Trust Territory and her colony Gold Coast. But on the other side, that request from Britain was the sacrilegious thing that British did to the people of Western Togoland. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because you can see Britain was also in charge of Palestine. Palestine was given to British in, in a, in a transitship, uh, the same transitship council gave Palestinians to Britain. In 1948, when Britain was no longer in position to take care of Palestinians, they told the United Nations that they can And at that moment, uh, Palestinians have to decide their own fate. So the fate of Palestinians was given to them, and they chose what they want. When it came to Western Togoland, when Britain was not in position to take care of Western Togoland, Britain would have done the same thing to Western Togoland, release Western Togoland to the United Nations, and the UN will let Western Togoland decide their own fate. But why on earth to Britain decide that I want to make a union with a trust territory, with her colony, both coast, and on the blind side of the United Nations, Britain wrote the letter that the chairman wrote, uh, read to, to you. Britain wrote that letter informing the United Nations that, yes, the union has been, actually has been affected. And at the time that Western Togo has no government to represent her interests, how on earth 
can you make a union between a, a, a country that has a government and a, the other side that do not have a government? So this is a real situation that the people of Western Togoland, the land have been absorbed, they have been unnerved to uh, um, a Britain colony. Uh, people have to understand that Gold Coast was a Britain colony. Gold Coast was a Britain colony. So there is a conflict of interest here. Nobody knows what goes underhand that Britain will decide to join a trust territory to her colony. That point needs to be made clear that Britain, uh, um, that Gold Coast was a Britain colony. So that point that I, I want to make it clear that people should start, that should be sounding some, uh, a little bit something to some people to wake up that why? Why should Britain want to join a trust territory to her colony? And why Britain didn't do the same thing to Palestinians? when the time came for, for them to let go of Palestinians. So what that we are saying today is a factual. Everything we are saying is on the ground, it's on the bare floor, but the Ghana government is sending a blunt ears to what we are saying, pretending that nothing is happening, but that actually something is happening. We want to restore the dignity of West Africa yeah, exactly. and dignity of Western Togoland. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so thank much, you so for, much for your contribution. But, you know, what I want to say here is yes. this. I don't think we, we, we continue to look onto the British government because this is something now between Western Togoland and the Republic of Ghana. So, we are, yeah, we so are I think you, yeah. you have to concentrate your energy on doing it locally, not not, not getting them involved because yeah. they, they've already committed blunder. Yeah. Uh, so, but now, what you guys need to do is to look for a way for this thing to be addressed by the government of Ghana. Uh, we are trying to do our very best. Yes, exactly. You know, we, we, the, the clauses in the termination of the trusteeship agreement, and one of the clauses is that if there is disagreement, we should go to court. Now, we have been able to bring this to the international court. Okay. They are busy with it, yeah. but the other part is that when you and your brother or sister, you are not in good terms, you can sit down at home and exactly. talk about it. Look about and it. That is what we are trying to do. And they are not because agreeing tomorrow, to that. Tomorrow, yes. they will ask you, so this thing is happening between the two of you. Did you talk Why, about did it? Did you talk about it yes. Before, yes. before you brought it here? Yes. And we are trying to tell them that. Let's sit down and talk. Which is very necessary. Let us sit down I think you, need, you really need to crave. You need to, you need to crave until you get that attention. It's very important. We are doing so our So whatever work. it's going to take the, the, the bad to get that attention, you guys bad, have to do it. The bad part of this story is this. Last, on the 6th of uh, uh, July, our Secretary General, the PSC Secretary General in Western Togoland has been arrested. Oh, how? The PLC is a registered organization in Ghana. It's a registered organization that has uh, uh, on its um, incorporation, the things we want to do, and it is registered officially. Yes. People's Liberation Council of Western Togoland, mm -hmm. and this is what we want to do. It is registered. Mm -hmm. We have a certificate. Okay. Now, the, the Secretary General, the, the certificate was going to expire, so he went to the municipality to go, to go and renew it. Okay. He got to the municipality, they told him, come on Monday. We are almost finished, so you come and pick it on Monday. Okay. He got to the place on Monday, they said, it's not ready, so you sit down and wait. He was sitting down there in the reception waiting, he saw two gentlemen. They came and they told him that, they went inside first and they came to him and said, oh, your certificate is some office uh, somewhere, uh, it's, uh, we'll go there and then mm -hmm. they'll sign it for you. Really? He has no choice. So he entered so the car, they, they drove him, they took him away, they kidnapped him from the from the office there, oh. going to do official business. They kidnapped him from there, they took him to the office, they drilled him for about from, from about nine o'clock to about three o'clock. Hmm. And then from there they released him, they took him now to the police station. Wow. And when they sent him to the police station, the police also waited until it's seven o'clock in the evening. And at seven o'clock in the evening, they lock him up. Oh. This old man, what, what a was 68 your years old man, yes, what was, was your locked face? up. They, they, keep, they kept him there. I'm telling you a story. They, oh. they kept him there until um, uh, on the second day, because in Ghana, you cannot lock up somebody for uh, 48 hours. They, 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 they did not allow him to see his family. 
He has no. He, he cannot call anybody. They didn't give him. There any... was no lawyer. Oh. They locked him up. On the second day, they took him to court without a lawyer, without his family. This old, uh, 68 years old man was. They took him to court. And when they got to the court, these are the, these are, this this is the charge they put on him. I can read the charge for you, and I want to read it because it's it's it's, it's I think this is abuse of power. Jesus. This is the charge they put on him. Mm. Uh, they said, Repo the Republic versus Divine Okwe Odonko, statement of offense, Pro uh, prohibition of the People's Liberation Council of Western Togoland, contrary to section one and two of the prohibited organization decree, 1976, SMCD 20, Ghana in this 21 century yeah. is using a military decree yeah. to detain somebody whereas they have a constitution. Yeah. Hmm. A military decree. It's bad. And now it's a violation they took, they of took human rights. to the court and yes. then they asked the judge to remind them. It's a violation of human rights, yes. They put him there for about two weeks. He was in police cell, hey. sleeping on the ground. His offense is this. This is terrible. And he's going to court now. This is incredible. The police say they are making more investigation. You you are making investigation? No, 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 no. This is a violation. The man is now sick. Right. The man is completely now sick. Uh, two days ago, he collapsed and they took him to the hospital oh. and he's now lying in, in, at home in his bed. And the police are saying that he should come to the police station again. Wow. Hmm. Wow, this is incredible. Yes, this, this is, is this, violation of this is my the rights. situation so in which we are. It shouldn't be this way. This mm -hmm. is the situation in which we are. Wow. And uh, wow. it's, it's a sad story. It is very that, very. that we are living in this um, where we are now. So who is going to help you now in this whole thing? We will continue. Process? We will continue. Huh. We will continue. I think maybe the diasporans have to come down. Um, the diasporans, your people, we are, we all are, of we are, them. We are doing our very best. Too. We are all over. We are we are educating our children. We are educating the, our grandchildren. And we are all over. We are in Germany. We are all over. The world. Well, let me read some of the YouTube uh, chat here. He say, Danny, so Danny, somebody called Danny boy. He said, we are not ready for the union. All we need is our freedom, please. And the other one, uh, Kwadama, forgive Kwadama. Okay, he deleted his uh, own edition. Simon Tetevia, British Canadian United Nations. We, the people of Western Togoland, need peace. Like other countries, there will be war every day. Raymond Avera, Madam Host, please. What, what is <laughs> what is what is it you have to create before they respond? Danny, Danny boy, please, if watching, share and like it, very important. The issue of discrimination is real. Some of, some of, some of have experienced, some of us have experienced it. All right, so my calling from Ghana, I think there's a call coming all the way from Ghana. Sometimes we are not welcomed when we speak out our language in the presence of other ethnic groups. Is that true? That is true, hundred percent. You are not welcome. Some people have to change their name. For instance, in my area, when you are born, somebody is calling. There was when you are born on uh, hold um, on, sir. On Friday. Hello. Yes. Speak. Uh, I want to contribute. Sir. All right. Uh, my name is uh, Chairman Okay. Uh, uh, Chairman, I greet you. Thank you. these people are intimidating us, harassing us. So I want chairman, I will send all those videos right now so that chairman can show it to you people at the studio there. So the whole world will see. 
uh, it's a little, it's a little bit difficult saying, to show all these things. Because you are saying it, the thoughts that you are doing, uh, of time, if you, you are a woman, no, can do, see, do that, that, if you are a yeah. woman, hello? Yeah, speak, please. Yeah. Yeah. If yes. you are a woman, yeah. if you are a woman, you are like rubbish in Ghana. Really? You, you bear a w- yeah. I have, I have a doc- I have a newspaper in front of me right now, and the, 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 the they say, we don't trust airways. I go for those things. We don't trust airways. This is graphic paper. This is newspaper. Why? So I, 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 I want to tell the whole Western Togolanders that they should wake up. Yes. Uh, um, I, w- I just want to say something short. Yeah. Uh, please. Thank you. Please thank you, brother. Thank contributors. you. Contributors. Yes. Please. Please. I want to be very clear. Make my point clear. Let us focus. The politics of Ghana, we don't want to be part of it. What we are talking about is the relationship between Western Togoland and Ghana. That's all we are talking about. How they do their politics, we want to stay out of it. Because in reality, we are not considered as part of them. And so when you are pushing your mind too much, then it requires all of you in the diaspora because I mean, you cannot stay in the diaspora and be fighting this battle. It requires all of you in the diaspora from any part of the world move down there in Ghana, move down there, and then carry placards and march to the president's office. Madam, 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 they will arrest you. Madam, oh. They will arrest you. Mm. Uh, the government is arresting people day and day. Yes, that's what is happening when you talk about it. They will arrest you. They will arrest you and lock you. I just, I just. The government sent police soldiers to Western Togola to go and embarrass people. We don't know. Oh. I, 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 I want to show you people those videos. So that Please, uh, we, 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 we don't, we, we will not have too much no, now. Please. The studio to yeah, it's all right, but it's okay. F- send those uh, to the chairman. Send them to the chairman. That would be very, very nice. I think I would like uh, to show them. Me, myself, because I, have my, of, I have a lot of those. Myself videos. and my husband, we are from Western Togo, London. Is that? I'll, I'll, I'll are we from I'll Western Togo, Togo, London? Yes. Hello? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, thank what? you very much. Do welcome. Thank you so much. Right. Hello, caller? Hello, caller. Okay, All right. can you please play the the, uh, the second video? Hello, caller. Yeah, play the second video. Well, somebody else is calling, so that's the reason. At the same time, we feel that the question which should be put before the people at the present stage should be only one that is related to an immediate practical proposition. And that, in our opinion, is union with the Gold Coast. If union with the Gold Coast is rejected by the people, a new situation will arise, which will have to be considered afresh in our opinion. For the present, we think it is unnecessary to anticipate it or to provide for it. That would be tantamount to prejudging the results. We regard the independent and isolated existence of British Togoland as extremely precarious, both politically and economically. Indeed, the visiting mission itself seems to recognize the validity of this argument. At the same time... Yes. Uh, when, you, when you listen to these videos, you will see clearly the point that the UN um, uh, ambassadors are debating. And it's very clear that they are seeing that if things are not done properly, it will keep on occurring. That's true. So let us do it and do it properly. If in those days, in the 1950s, these arguments have been made, and now we are in 2000, and these things are coming up again, then there should be a solution. Exactly. And that is our point. So um, how then are you going to find the type of leaders the people need? Um, we are asking the government of Ghana, the authorities of Ghana, mm-hmm. to allow us mm-hmm. to be able to educate our people, to be able to allow them to select their own leaders. What we want to do is 
we don't want some group of people to 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 put themselves together and um, say they are the leaders. No, we want the people themselves to choose their leaders, and that is what we want. So that when they sit down with the government of Ghana, mm. they can be able to deliver what the people want. Is that, that is what is. But so you you think that is not what is happening? Is it the government that is selecting the leadership for them or what? They they, are, they don't want to talk about it. They don't even want you to educate the people. They don't want you to talk about Western Togoland. But these days. Even when you are married, women are adding their maiden name to the marriage certificate. Of course, like my name, my, my maiden name is on my certificate too. Yes. My marital certificate. So yes. But then, Western Togoland, if you mention Western Togoland, then you are in problems. What do they want you to mention? I don't know, Ghana. Hmm. But there is somebody. This is a case. You are not accepted be. in Ghana. You are not accepted. In. So what? What do they want the, you to do? There is. The, there are. You going to change your name or the, what? There are people in Ghana who can register companies that are called Gold Coast. But you have no right to be a Western Togolander and mention the name of Western Togoland. We think this is not fair hmm. because Gold Coast was joining to. Uh, uh, Western Togoland to make Ghana, and still people in Ghana, uh, in Ghana, some of them have re companies that have the name Go Coast something, Go Coast something. But you cannot register a name in uh, Western Togoland and say Western Togoland. Our Secretary General now is sick, but they are still. Pre this is persecution. Yes, it is. This it is, is the man. Is the man is I a very that moderate man. Of that age will be maybe. It's a very moderate man. He, he maybe. is even telling the people that take it easy. Let us talk to the authorities. Don't rush. If the the, the, the young ones are agitating, he says no. That is not a proper method. Tomorrow we are we are we are the same. So go take it easy. And that is the man they go to arrest. It's terrible. Do you have any constitution for PLC? Uh, the PLC itself has its own way, but uh, we are not the people to write the constitution for Western Togoland. Okay. We what we want to do is that the people themselves will write their own constitution, and with that constitution, they will be able to elect their leaders. Yeah. I, I know that there are some people who are trying to put themselves together to say they want to be leaders, but mm. the PLC stand is that the people themselves will write their own constitution, and then the people themselves, with that constitution, will elect their leaders. And those leaders will represent them. Hello, Kola, yes? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, please, uh, my name is Daniel Yavuga. Okay. I'm calling from, calling from West in Togoland. All right, speak. In the first place, um, congratulating to our noble chairman okay. for their hard work that they are doing to restore our motherland, Western Togoland. Okay. We are sick and tired of the humiliation that the people of Gogo today, Ghana, are giving to we, the citizens of Western Togoland. We are capable of managing our own affairs. We are also a human, as they are also are. Two countries who have to be in union, and the union have not been established. That is the reason why every day, Ghanaian politicians, Ghanaian citizens have the authority, have the audacity to insult. Even to the standard, our kings and queens on our land, they don't regard them, they don't respect them in any way. And, and this is the time. No matter how the situation is, we the citizens of the land are ever ready to support this idea of the restoration. Yes. Um, for our dear country, yes, we are capable of managing our own affair. The only thing I would say is that, Chairman, congratulations. We are watching you. you live and we are with you. Thank you. In everything, whatever. Thank you. 
But if I, thank you for calling. Thank you, caller. Please keep listening. And if you have any other contribution to make, you feel free to call us, okay? <laughs> but um, so the question is, uh, do you think Ghana would easily accept this lofty ideas you have? Um, that is the interesting part. Uh, the people who are, have interest in this, they look at this as a threat to them. Mm -hmm. Because some of them think that when the proper thing is done, then uh, they, they don't have that chance to keep on the, the corrupt practices mm -hmm. that has been going on. But because in reality, the people of Western Togoland, even the Ghanaians themselves, they know that if Western Togoland is uh, they have a, a good union agreement. Mm -hmm. Some years later, when you get it to Western Togoland, you will see the difference because we are people who can be trusted. Okay. I can tell you point blank. Yeah. That we are people who can be trusted. Okay. So, but right now, what you want is an agreement. You are looking for a platform so that the people from Ghana and uh, Western Togoland can sit together that is all. and have an agreement. We want a conversation. But your, 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 we your followers, for a conversation. Your, but your followers, the followers, your followers, I yeah. think they are yearning for independence. Um, they, are, I, yeah, they are yearning for yes, independence. I, because I when, you, when you look at, when you hear their comment and yeah. you read in the forums, yeah. you can see that they are yearning. So what do you have to say regarding to this point? I don't blame them. The thing is that uh, if you oppress people too much, mm -hmm. these are the type of things that come. Mm -hmm. And we are talking to them. We are telling them that it's a little bit difficult to say, to talk about independence at this stage mm -hmm. because we have been intertwined too much beyond. And I, we think the best thing, the solution, yeah. is to be in the middle ground, not to the stream, because the stream will not help yeah. all of us. Yeah. I, the, the, the people are always saying it, but PLC, the People's Liberation Council of Western Togoland, is saying that the middle ground, which is the union, you know, these are building blocks. The United Nations has done a, a, a lot of work already. They have agreed that if we want to be in union, mm -hmm. they, they support us. And that union has, been, has not been affected. That is all we are talking about. Mm -hmm. So if somebody is saying that we are already independent, because when in that letter I read, uh, the British Secretary, mm. he said, when uh, Gokos become independent, mm -hmm. then the Union of mm. Western Togoland will start. So mm. does it mean that we we are still colonized or we are <laughs> we are under British uh, uh, under Britain before we are joining to 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 uh, okay, but so but, so that's but the point. Yes, but. I mean, you, the Ghanaians have had their independence for how long now? Yes. Yeah. So, 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 so now they've had their independence. That is the that is the, the missing link. The missing link. People from Western Western Togoland should also have theirs or what? No, no, no. We are not. We are. We are. We are not. We, we were not a British uh, uh, colony. Okay. We were not being colonized before. It was Ghana which was colonized. Uh, Gold Coast which was colonized. Western Togoland has never been colonized. It is a trust territory. Mm. So who are we asking the, the independence from? The only thing it, uh, UN said is that keep this, keep this, and mature it to, to grow. Mm. Uh, it is not for you. Mm. So who are we asking the independence from? We are not going to ask independence from uh, uh, from Ghana. Yeah, but if Western Togoland was uh, the heart, what it takes to be on their own, I don't think another country would have come to just divide them into two. That is where the missing link is. Yeah. The missing link is the union so agreement. So they don't have what it takes to be on their own. Probably that's why uh, the, 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 the French when, and the British when could make that, politics with them yeah, but, and but divided then, them into two. But I want to say something. Even if you don't have anything in your room, when you get out, you lock the door. Let us assume that people of Western Togoland have nothing. But we know if we don't have anything, we have manpower. At least we have manpower. 
Really? We have, we have, yes, we have human resources. Mm -hmm. if, we, if we don't have anything, we will lock our door when we get out. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have human resources. So we are not worried about uh, uh, human, uh, I mean, mineral resources and no. We, yeah. Those things are not important for us. What we are talking about is mm -hmm. that we are human beings. Yes. Give us a dignity. Equal right. Give us that dignity. Yes. That's exactly. all. Respect us. Respect us. That's okay. all we are looking for. So, so, so is that what P, PLC, is that That's why what PLC for. is demanding for the, 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 the union agreement? Yes. That's that all what? we are looking for. Okay. That's all we are all looking right. for. All right. Okay. And the people of Ghana, the citizens of Ghana, if they understand what we are saying, mm -hmm. I think this will be a peaceful process for all of yeah. us. They are worried about They are worried. Yes, they are, when they talk, they say succession. What is succession? We are not talking about succession. We are not successionist movement. Yes, exactly. So what's going on? Hello? Yeah, come, come. Hello? Hello? Yes, caller, please. Hello? Yes, caller, speak. We are hearing you. Hello? Way Hello, caller. No, it's on. What's the way forward? Uh, the way forward. The PLC is still demanding for Ghana to come to sit down and let us stop. Hmm. We are brothers and sisters. Let us have conversation in every civilized society. And there is something brewing. You sit down and you talk. But, the, but, but I think the Ghana Republic did not vote for the Union. So so it's only the West of Yeah, voted. We, we voted for the Union. The, the union. Yes. So how yeah. would they come now and sit and be talking? But they played a role mm. for that Union. You see, Kwame Nkrumah was, at the time of uh, making, uh, trying to mobilize the people for mm. the for the vote. Mm. Kwame Nkrumah was already campaigning in Western Togoland. Mm. And for that matter, this uh, union vote mm. already has been influenced. We don't want to talk about this. These are building blocks. Our forefathers have already voted to be in union with Ghana. Okay. We don't want to change that. And we don't want to go back to the union, uh, the UN and say, look, what you did for us and then we are to go into union with Ghana, we want to stop it. No. We want to build on it. Okay. Let us build on it. All we are saying is that Ghana has come to say, okay, I want you people to join me. Uh, you, you go into somebody's house and say, I want your, I want your daughter to be my wife. Mm. And then they ask your daughter, they say, oh, I like this man. I want, I can, I, I want to marry him. Mm. And then you left. And later on, you took the lady mm -hmm. into your house mm. without marriage. No. There is no paper on it. And one day, the, the, the children are growing. They said, look, but, but Papa, we, we, the people are saying that we don't belong to this house. Yeah. Write some paper on us so that we also know that we are your children. And you refuse. Why do you do that? Hmm. That's all we are saying. Yeah, exactly. That's all the people of Western Togoland are saying. Write some paper on us also so that we can also say, when somebody says you are not a Ghanaian, you are Togolese, then we can also say, this is my paper. You don't see, this is my paper. My father wrote this paper for me. Mm. I am also a Ghanaian. That's all we want. You've been talking about restoration, restoration. So what do you really mean by that? Restoration of what? Uh, the restoration of, of Western Togoland. Of Western Togoland. What do you mean by that? The, 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 when I say restoration, it means to bring back. What do you want to restore? The, the statue quo. What, what the, our great grandfathers voted for. Hmm. We want to restore it. That okay. is the union they voted for. Okay. And that is the uh, the missing link we are mm. talking about. Mm. That link will restore what the situation should be. Mm. That's all we are asking for. Yes. We are not asking too much. We are not asking too much. To us, we are not asking too much. That is what the way we see it. But we want the authorities also to start to look at it carefully. They have to look at. They it. have to read. You see, we have a lot of 
uh, videos from the UN. Mm. We cannot play all of them in the studio. We have we have bunches of videos. Mm. And when you listen to it, and Ghana is behaving like this, you cry. But they still have, I, I want to ask you this question before. So they still have some ministers who are presenting uh, that side of yeah. Western Togo line yeah. in the cabinet of, uh, in, the, in, the, in the political cabinet. Yes. What, are, what do they really do? They don't talk about it? No. To the president? No, they don't. So these people are maybe people who are not from Western Togoland? They are from Western Togoland, but the, the truth is that they are satisfied. When you're satisfied, you don't look at the hungry people. Hmm. You, are, you, 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 you see, most of them, you go to law school, you study law, and then you go to the legislature, you sit down in parliament, and you get your, 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 your car. You don't fight for your people. They go there, they don't fight for their people. Otherwise, Western Togoland will not remain like that. Exactly. So we don't want to be talking about them too much because hmm. they don't go to represent us. Hmm, hmm, hmm. They, they, they go there to represent their, their belly. Interests. They are representing their belly. <laughs> Please, can you play the last video for me and then uh, we... Ah, we run it on, please. Yeah. <laughs> As the United Kingdom representative proposes, and if a majority in any area were to vote in the negative, the uh, practical situation would be about the same as if the question were asked in two parts. Namely, some continuing administration would need to be provided for. Although we appreciate the uh, problems involved in the formulation of the question, as pointed out yesterday by Mr. Hopkinson, uh, we uh, find it difficult to believe that the administering authority would find it impossible to continue temporarily some kind of administrative responsibility in certain areas where there might be substantial majorities who are not quite ready to make up their minds as to their future. We fully realize why the administering authority, which has expressed its view that the territory is ready for independence as an integral part of the goal. However, uh, when the differences are quite pronounced as between geographic areas, a special situation arises which we feel at least merits uh, some consideration. We would hope, however, that there would be no ultimate fragmentation, which we believe the visiting mission itself sought to avoid. We attach importance to the advantages which accrue from establishing and maintaining an entity which is both politically and economically viable, and we believe that the inhabitants themselves must share this opinion. And attitudes of the people, but we also believe that the plan would be feasible and practicable provided all the directly interested authorities could agree to cooperate together in carrying out the proposal. In saying this, we will be prepared to consider adjustments or alternative arrangements which may be brought forward in the discussions here or in the General Assembly. Our minds are not absolutely fixed to any one course of procedure. But we believe, as I said earlier, that the proposals of the visiting mission in this respect furnish a practicable and feasible means for ascertaining the wishes of the people. I mean, it's I mean, very clear. Very, very clear. It's very, very, very clear. Don't they hear this? Um, we, have been, we have been playing these things, but they don't care. And the whole world is watching them. So how would the attention be gotten then? Because that's what has to be done. If, if they are pretending not to hear, then something has to be you done know, for uh, the attention to be gotten. Uh, at, at a certain point in time, people have to be real. We are appealing to the Ghanaian authorities mm -hmm. to start from a point by opening up, by sitting down with their brothers and sisters so that we can talk about this amicably. Mm. Who will propose this and then you arrest the person? Mm -hmm. When somebody proposes this to you, you arrest the person and lock the person up. Well, it's terrible. So that is the situation mm -hmm. in which we are. The younger generation are crying every day, what can we do so that they can stop arresting us? Can you not take the Ghana government to court then? We are trying to do that, but uh, in Ghana itself, you bring Ghana government to no, Ghana no, no, court. The United court of that, that is what we are trying to do. Yes. yes. But then uh, the other part, we have lawyers who are busy with that. They, they have 
put in the application and everything. But the thing is, one question is being asked. Mm. Have you been able to sit down with your brothers and sisters? The judges will also like to see. Okay, what when, you have been when able they to ask do. a question and yes. then you say no, yes. and they ask you to we have produce to proof. your evidence, then yes. you produce your evidence. Yes, that's you know? we, we are getting, all of this. We are getting, we are, we are putting, and yeah, and we have been putting oh. a lot of evidence together. A lot, a lot of evidence. We are putting them together. And we Which are way forward now? Yeah, we are, Which we are way hoping, forward now? We are hoping uh, very soon, maybe uh, they will call the court. Uh, and then we will be able to present our... Whilst we are waiting, mm. we cannot sit down. Yeah. We keep on education, the younger ones, yeah. they should try to find some things to do by themselves. Mm -hmm. They should try as much as possible mm -hmm. to... Uh, they should try to find something to do. Mm -hmm. We are trying to train them to start to be self-reliant. You see, some people don't understand independence. We are trying to tell them mm -hmm. independence is a big word. Mm -hmm. But independence mm. itself mm. is self-reliant. Mm -hmm. That's it. So you, the young ones, mm -hmm. you don't have jobs, but you can start to do something by yourself. But they need capital. You don't need. You, you to still wait need capital. For the no, but you need capital because it's you, not we, we, we all know the, the level of poverty yeah, that, that, is, that uh, is true in Africa. So a young graduate who have only studied, where do you want the person to get money? That, if that the, if the, if the bank cannot support them. Who want to be entrepreneurs? Those, those they can support the them when they write projects. At least to help them, you know, support them, give them the loan. If the government cannot support them, is it individuals that will support them? In, in Ghana, there are so, there is an asso there are associations like because most of the time we always say uh, let them graduates. let them do something. So, the people want to do something, <laughs> but there's no capital. You see, that's the problem. Unemployed, unemployed graduates association is in Ghana. I love. <laughs> unemployed <laughs> graduates association. <laughs> and, really? Yes, of course. Oh my oh. God, <laughs> this is a funny. lot of associations like that. Wow. And the children are going to school every day. They are coming out. They are becoming unemployed, forming association. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that is what is happening. And let us sit down and, and, and talk. They are not ready. Well, they will be ready one day. I, I believe that uh, nothing is impossible yes. unto God. So as we keep looking and uh, paving the way, looking for a way to pave the way, we don't need to forget the spiritual aspect because that which is not possible in the human capacity is never impossible before the Lord. That is true. So we just have to that believe is, that is very because true. he have the heart of even kings in the holos of his son. We well, believe, yes. the PLC believe yes. that we are lose, using natural laws. Mm -hmm. The natural law is there. And if they don't want to listen, one day the father himself will take charge. Well, from uh, Raymond uh, Aveva, uh, PSC, leader, PSC leaders have to come down to unite with the, with the groups and meet the government. Nobody will arrest anyone united for for WTL leaders. So that's mm -hmm. what they're asking you to come and down. You have to come down with um, with some of your leaders to 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 go yes yeah, uh, with the grassroots over there. Yeah, and it, then, is uh, true, it is true. It is true but we are trying to see how the government you see uh, when people are saying come down, come down um, it is not about coming down. It's mm -hmm. about when you are far away and you have an agreement with the government that, okay, we can sit down with, to converse, then when you go, you know what you are going to do. Now, you want me also to leave what I'm doing here to feed myself and go and join the Unemployed Graduates Association? Well, he's he also responding here. He said, we are ready, we are self-reliant, but uh, just like what the hostess say. Uh, the capital is a problem, so they don't have the capital, you see. And you say, we, we have noble Western Togo land people in Ghana. Yeah, that is so true. They have them, but the capital, that's the problem. And that, that is true. We just pray that God will make a way for them. Yeah, so pray. look into the camera and they tell us which way do we need to go now. After I all want to thank all yes. of you all people who are watching me now, yeah. the people of Ghana, the people of Western Togoland, mm -hmm. I'm asking you 
to tell the people of Ghana and the people of Western Togoland to understand this situation so that we can live together as brothers. Mm -hmm. We That's are so important. much intertwined into each other that mm -hmm. we, the people of Western Togoland, are not crying that we want to separate or take away any part of that country. Mm -hmm. We just want to sit down and talk and write down what we are together mm -hmm. so that tomorrow somebody will not tell you you are not a Ghanaian. Mm. That is all we want. Wow. If they can do that for us, yeah. we'll be so happy. We'll take care of the other things. Exactly. And I think that's a humble plea. So those who have heard us, uh, we don't know how far this, uh, uh, this uh, very broadcast is going to travel. And we believe that it will reach the necessary quarters so that the leadership we are asking to listen to us will be able to give ear and listen. So you are saying to the whole world that Western Togoland shouldn't be a threat. No. It should, rather it should, no. If you are only looking for a situation where you can easily, yes. you can easily be assimilated, you know, be properly addressed as that true so. Ghanaians. Yeah. So. Because right now it's like you're just hovering um, around, yes. just hanging somewhere. Everybody can and nobody tell you likes to hang around. Everybody so, can tell you you're not a Ghanaian. Wow. Everybody. Even members of parliament, they say it. I've never Public. heard that before. Well, okay. Members of parliament say you are not Ghanaian, you are Togolese. And then you go, then if you... <laughs> it's, 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 and Togolese will say you are Ghanaians. Yeah. And Togolese yeah, will say you are Ghanaian. Also say you are Ghanaian. Yeah. So, so we, you don't we, know where you are. We are hanging. hanging, we are bad. No, it shouldn't be that way. <laughs> when you go to be. the Eastern Togo side, they say you are Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. When you come to the, the, the Ghana side here, mm -hmm. the Ghanaians are saying you are Togolese. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. So, what kind of well, that's the situation. Those of you who have listened to us, uh, that is the situation, you see. Uh, human beings are creating for others. <laughs> and we pray that God will answer us very, very soon. Thank you, Chairman, for your support and your strength. And we pray that the Lord will continue to renew, your, renew you as you carry on with this battle. And that God will be on your side so you can win it and then, uh, and then uh, help your people to be to to have a correct identity thank you thank you so, thank so, you so much so you've heard us that 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 has been the state of affairs with the uh with the western Togoland, and uh, we believe that um, god is going to help us to to break through there, there must be a way out somehow and i i'm trusting god for that so those of you who have watched those those of you who called us from united states and those from ghana and also from this part of the world God richly, richly bless you. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. God will do something new. Okay, stay blessed and bye for now.